A few miles north of Morris, Minnesota, on Highway 59, there's an unusual sight. A gazebo sits high on top of an old silo. In this week's story from the Ag Week Vault, Rose Dunn shows you how it got up there. Like many of the world's best and sometimes worst ideas, it all started with a bar bet. But five years and tons of steel later, there was a gazebo on top of this old silo. Well, it was on a $100 bet that he couldn't do it. Of course, there was no blueprints or nothing written down on paper. He just knew how to do that kind of thing. Artist Les Meister's husband, Jack, and their sons started building this gazebo in the late 80s after the barn next to it burned down. Much of the gazebo was built on the ground. In 1993, it was perched on top of the silo with a 75-ton crane. Windows, wood trim, and railings were added once it was in place. Oh, it's nice and sunny up here. There we are. Jack's son Lane was a young teen at the time. I would have to say probably the most daunting thing was hanging upside down to weld a lot of the seams. There was just no way to get at the angle. In addition to farming, the Lesmeisters are in the steel business, so they were able to keep costs down. Still, they estimate it was about $40,000 to build and install. Lane estimates there are 15 to 20 tons of steel in the structure, much of it recycled I-beams from bridges around the area. Holding it up inside the silo are four 50-foot beams sunk into eight feet of concrete. Jack passed away about three years ago, but he remains an important presence in the gazebo. Yeah, whenever I have a tough day or something, I come up and plunk down in Dad's chair and ask him. The family finds the gazebo a peaceful place to relax and enjoy the eight-mile view. Near Morris, Minnesota, this is Rose Dunn for Ag Week. Lane says it's a three-season gazebo, so they shut it down for the winter. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.